My name is Jody Bunting and we're outside Derby Museum for the Ram Trail. So this is Derby Ram number one and today we're going to find all 30 rams and see how many steps there is. This is the map that we downloaded at Derby Ram Trail. You can also download the app. This is Ram number one, Ramtastic. We're leaving ram number one and off to find ram number two. Throw a right. So just across from the Friary and Pop World, we have a ram and number two, which is round this corner. There he is. Hi. So here is ram number two, which is the Egyptian ram. Hi. So we're now leaving behind our Egyptian friend and walking up towards Radio Derby. So just before we get to Radio Derby, we turn a right at the college and you have ram number three and four. So here we have ram number three, which you can see is a bit of a construction number. Now this is probably the easiest walk from one to the other because it was literally from there to here, which is the Dolby County one. Which you would have thought they'd put a pride park near the gym, wouldn't you? Because so we can have a big walk, but no. Here it is, here's a Rami. And now we're going on to our next one. We're going to throw a left up here. We're now walking up past Queen's Leisure Centre. Now up at the top of the road, we are throwing a left past St Michael's. You can see there is three over this side. So over the other side of the road here, we have number five outside Flint Bishop's Solicitors. Bit of an odd one, this one, a bit of an art deco. And all we do is cross the road by the Jury's Inn, and you can see there's two lurking over that side. Right in front of Jury's Inn. I'm not sure why they're so close together. They're obviously running out of spaces. This one's very modern looking. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. Uh, but this is kind of cool. This has definitely got a bit of a spiritual theme going on. So this one is called Joe's Rainbow, which from the front is not very rainbowy at all, but from the back, this is where the rainbow begins. Look at that, that's nice. Right, we're now going back over the road to find the next one. So we've cut down this little street down towards the sea silk mill. So come in this side of the silk mill. We'll bring down, bring you down by near the river. See the main road is flying over there. Right now down here by the river, 
you kind of hit a bit of a jackpot. You've got one over here, then our next two are up there. So this one is the Aerospace Engineering, which is obviously a Rolls Royce. And then we move straight over to the Pirates of the Caribbean or the Pirates of Barbados. Right now moving on from these two, we're just going to cross over behind the cathedral to go through this little jitter. Now the way we just tried to go was not the accessible route, so we've just come the other side of the cathedral to come round, and there is the next. So here in front of the Derby Cathedral, we've got our next one, which is a bit of a planet number. down towards the centre of town. This is where you are partial for a little bit of weather spoons. Pop into the standing order. We're going for a bit of breakfast on this Sunday morning. So I've just ordered breakfast here in the standing order weather spoons. We're just checking out our map which you can download from the website. So we've basically done the orange section. We're now on the blue city centre and then we've got the area by the station. And here's all the pictures of all the different rams. And also there's an information sheet. The large breakfast as well. We've just come out of the uh, standing order. And I thought the next one looks quite boring, but look, you can see it glistening from here. Oh, this one is definitely my favourite. Look at that. Bling, bling, bling. Look how nice that one is. Now we can see one on the left there, but from that sparkly one, don't go that way, go down to Primark. So here's our next one in front of Primark. You know, it's not singing, it's that lovely lady singing over there. This one's nice, really nice. So now we're back up at the marketplace and we're going to go around the corner to find the next one. So our next one is right in front of the quad here. Also in front of the council houses. Oh, it's a Florence Nightingale.
Now from here you can be tempted to go over to the council house for the pride one, but no, turn right and find this one. Look at this outside the market hall. The colours are actually amazing when you get close up. Now from here, we cross over in front of the council house to the Pride of England, the Pride Run. So from the council house, we want to go behind the bus station now, next to the river. Right, so as we get to the bus station, there is one ramp hiding behind that taxi there that you can see. But actually, we want to throw a left down by the river. See it in the distance there. Which is by the city gym, by the way. I used to teach up there. So there's our next one. If you're wondering why it's the football one, because it is probably the closest one to Pride Park, which is over there. So we are going to leave the Derby County Ram and go back down to Right, so moving on, our next one is on the edge of the bus station. So now you've crossed the road again, here we come. So here we have our next one. More butterflies, but also daisies this time. Right, we're now moving on. We're going into into now, so we're crossing over. We're going to go inside. Right now, we are coming back to the other one. We're going to throw a left back up to the original Derby round, <laughs> and then into into. And you're probably thinking, like, why is it going the long way? Why do they keep going past them and stuff? We're, we're following the numbers. We're seeing, seeing how many steps we do, following the numbers. So here is the original Derby Ram, but this, that's not included, not including on our little project trail. We need to go up into the shopping centre. If you walk in this way, you will notice you will see the stars of Derby. So welcome to the Derby. Right now, as we come in here in front of Sainsbury's, this is number 21. We don't want 21, Time, we want two the big hours, 20. 11 so minutes, 17 seconds. Right, for our next one, we need to go up the escalator. And then at the top of the escalator, throw a right, and then in front of the art gallery, which is just over there, is this beautiful. So here's our next one. 
with snakes and other strange things on it. Down the escalators, back to Sainsbury's. So we're heading back to Sainsbury's, where we're gonna have our next one. But Mom doesn't wanna just pop in the pop-up Disney shop. So we're gonna add an extra few steps to today's walk. Right, so we've come back in front of Sainsbury's where number 21 was hiding, which we saw earlier. Which again is another really spiritual night. I think Dolby and have done this on purpose because the next one you have to go back through the shopping centre again. I basically want to make you loop round here as much as possible. Just try and avoid crispy food. Avoid, avoid. <laughs> Look, fresh fruit juice over here. Let's have some of that. So next to Sports Direct and where Devon and used to be, if you come outside, should find your next one out here on Traffic Street. I can see it. So it's the big pink one, it's number 22, right here near the petrol station. Right, so you can take the underpass, or if you're in a wheelchair, cross the road. The underpass will bring you up here towards the station, past Buzz Bingo. Here's our next number. Little D. Not a little D actually, that's a rather big D, isn't it? Now walking towards the train station past the waterfall pub. the college but it's clearly a trains one not an East Midlands railway. Right now back into town, back the way we came. And once we get back over to the shopping centre, don't go back in. We want to cross over the road and go up over to Marks and Spencer's. And here it is, outside Marks and Spencer's hiding behind this tree opposite the Royal Telegraph pub is our next one. Oh, like a heavy metal one. <laughs> oh, look there where we've got a bit of uh, pride over there.
that. We're now walking down through to the main street. And we are walking past now my favourite dessert restaurant, Heavenly Desserts. It's amazing. Right, so here's our next one through the rings, through the shopping centre entrance. This is the Go Commando round. Possibly the one in the biggest, uh, most popular place, should I say, here at the spot. So moving on, our last three are all down here. So straight down St. Peter's Street. Look behind McDonald's giant chicken nugget and you'll see our next number. There it is. Surely this is the Royal Crown Derby. <laughs> oh, this is Hans. Right, now for our next number, it's literally in the shadow. Outside now it's back. So we continue down St Peter Street and for the last one we're just going to throw a left to the museum and we're done. So it is on to our penultimate ram here on the Dolby Ram Trail. Let's go. So almost finished past the notorious fever <laughs> club here in Derby. And then the last one is the other side of the museum which is just past the library on the right. And I know what you're thinking, how, how many steps have you done? I'll put the official steps, but we're on 6.5 miles at the moment, which is impressive. We've definitely done our 10,000 steps, uh, but all that data will be revealed after we find our final ram. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, we almost went past him. So this is the final ram, ram number 30, outside the Derby Museum, which is here on a very quiet Sunday afternoon. Oh yes, this is a real Derbyshire, Derbyshire round. Look at that one. The 360R is spectacular. This one is probably Derbyshire. the rum trail my mum made it here at the Derby Museum. So yes a big well done to my mum for making it round. So there is the final ram if you come round here you'll find the entrance to the museum where also you can buy some ram trail merch and also you can buy these maps if you can't download them or you can't download the app. So we're just going to go for a little wander in there where we're back at the beginning so behind me is the museum and round number one and we managed to burn almost 1,300 calories. So the results are in and we did 21,000 steps walking around those miles. Here is the exact route that we did on the route planner and as we said in total it was 6.7 miles and these are the gradients. 
we had a few breaks, so our pace wasn't that great. Uh, it took us two hours, 15 minutes moving time, but four hours, 20 in total. Here's a little look at the Ram Trail app. Um, it is okay. I didn't think it was that amazing because the location, the map service doesn't work unless you're actually in the area. Uh, but you can unlock different facts and stuff. But again, you can't see it before you've actually in the location. The website is much better, to be honest with you. Uh, but that was, we did love doing the Ram Trail. For more information, have a look at the website, look at the hashtag and also look at the at on social media. My name has been Jody Bunting. Click on subscribe here on YouTube uh, and I'll see you again next time. Enjoy your Ram Trail. Which was my favourite Ram? Of course it was the Pride Ram. Thank you Derby City Council.